Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Vegetarian. The frosting you see in this cake is not the usual American buttercream I prefer, but a super soft classic ermine buttercream, which has its other names like roux frosting, flour buttercream, and even boiled milk frosting. I found its texture smooth and fluffy, and taste-wise, in others' opinion, is similar to Swiss meringue and Italian meringue. But for me, it tasted like whipping cream. And the plus point is, it's eggless for those who do not like or eat eggs. Also, less sweet than the American buttercream. To begin with, I got a pan here in which I'm keeping 300 grams sugar. Can adjust sugar as per taste. Adding maida or all-purpose flour, 68 grams. A pinch of salt to balance taste. Give it a quick mix and over to the stove. Quickly toast the flour and sugar on medium heat for roughly about two minutes. This process cooks out the raw taste of the flour. Then gradually adding milk while still stirring to make it lump free. Here I have taken 360 ml full cream milk. No wonder its another name is boiled milk frosting. This method will further cook the flour. So keep stirring not letting the flour to get stuck at the bottom of the pan. And then in about 3 minutes the mixture gets thickened like a custard or a pudding. And then you should know it's done. Then switch off the heat and better to transfer where it gets cooled down quickly. Level it out while still hot and cover it with a cling film so that uh, a skin doesn't form on top. Press the cling film upon this pudding and keep it in a cool place. Now this might take half an hour to one hour depending upon the climate you live in. Mine after one hour was completely cooled down. I removed this food wrap, kept aside and started creaming the butter. Of course, butter or any kind of fat is important to stabilize the cream. And this is room temperature butter, 340 grams unsalted. Cream the butter either with a spoon or a spatula uh, which might take longer but I am using the electric beater. This took me around 5-6 to six minutes to get a fluffy white texture. Scraping and beating in between. As you can see the butter is well creamed. First I'll add vanilla, 1 teaspoon. Let it blend and then start mixing the flour mixture. I'll slowly mix this in 4 batches. Mix them on low speed, getting rid of lumps if any. Scrape, bring together and add another batch. Repeat the process until all well combined. Having mixed all, I gave the final blend and my ermine frosting was ready to be piped. So here's it. This is how it should look. A very smooth texture with no air pockets. To avoid forming air holes, not supposed to beat the batter too long once everything or all the ingredients are well combined. And the taste comparatively is less sweet than the American buttercream. Overall for me it's more or less like the whipping cream. Now the next thing I did is fill this piping bag and put it in the fridge uh, to set a little bit firmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. And that was perfect to cover the cake. And another important thing to be noted here is all the ingredients while blending should be at room temperature. If any one of the ingredients happen to be colder than the other, the chances are either the icing will curdle or split. Now if in case that happens, let the whole thing come under room temperature and beat again or either use the double boiler method or microwave for a few seconds and beat again until it comes out smooth. I use this ermine frosting to cover the 6 inch cake and went further creating another striped cake. I absolutely fell in love with this delicious soft buttercream. Should definitely give it a try. So meet you soon in my next interesting video. Till then, goodbye.